Hello, this is session 7 of the GMM module and our main focus in this session would be marketing planning, um, the process and also a little bit about vision and mission uh, planning for an organization. After having developed your vision and mission statements, after having decided what is uh, the dream you have, what is the vision, where do you want to be in 10 years time, 20 years time and after deciding and doing a very clear mission statement, the reason for your existence, you start the strategic management process. In the strategic management process, step number one is to have the analysis right. You need to understand the position of your organization in relation to the competition, to the market, etc. So we call it um, understanding the strategic position of the organization. We will look at the steps or the tools that we can use to do this analysis later in the session. The strategic choice is where you try to seek out how to formulate possible courses of action in terms of on what basis are you going to compete in the market? Are you going to go behind price to be the price leader, the cost leader or are you going to be differentiated? Strategic direction is where you decide on your products and markets. And when you say pursuing strategies, it involves about your segmentation, your targeting and your positioning. Then you need to have a plan for your strategy implementation. Remember we spoke about uh, marketing mix elements, four P's or seven P's? Ha, there you go. You get these and you play around with them in order to make your marketing plan. All right, we spoke about analysis as step number one. Analysis is critically important to any kind of planning because the results or the action plan for implementation would greatly depend on what you have found out about your past performance, your current market, current environment, etc. So you have two different types of analysis which you are required to do. One is external, the other one is internal. On your right hand side you can see the types of internal data or the uh, pieces of information that you need to gather and analyze as your internal analysis. Performance against your objectives. The previous years, the previous quarters, the previous uh, H2, H1, the, the time periods, how was your performance against your set objectives? Have you met, exceeded or fallen behind? And also the success of your existing or ongoing marketing strategies. Now here you will look at not only just the product numbers or sales but how successful were you with your marketing strategies. Sometimes they could be customer feedback, could be customer engagement, uh, product offtake monitoring. So any of these uh, in pieces of information would be very valuable to your uh, new marketing plan. Then the organizational performance in terms of sales, revenue, profit, of course uh, cost. Cost is a very important component in the organizational performance. Product portfolio performance, that is if you have 10 different products or product types, you need to analyze which did well uh, were there any products or uh, sub-products which were underperforming, what need to be taken out, are you continuing all, etc. Also, uh, the organizational structure, operational efficiency, all these pieces of information will help you to formulate a better marketing plan for the upcoming year or for the next period. When you look at the external analysis, you have um, two key different areas that you need to look at. One is your micro environment, the other one is your macro environment. Of course, 
macro environment as you know is um, a very important analysis for your marketing plan you may change a lot of criteria depending on your macro element uh, findings your political environment your economic environment the numbers the economic indicators socio-cultural changes the trend changes the technological changes all these will uh, make you look at your marketing campaign marketing strategy differently then coming to the micro environment you will have to analyze your customers their feedback the numbers uh, the new customer segments groups that you would have discovered or you would have neglected during the previous period your competitors the existing ones the new ones which have entered the market then also potential ones that could enter the market suppliers how did they perform intermediaries publics all these things need to be accounted for analyzed so they become inputs for your marketing strategy i'm sure most of you all may have already used this at one point or at least heard about this analytical tool called the swot analysis the swot is a situational analysis which can greatly help you to uh, formulate your marketing plan or your marketing strategy what it does is it takes into consideration the background information the um, current situation in the market as well as your company your organization your products and services and gives a very insightful summarized view this analysis uh, has two different components or parts to this uh, one is the internal component which uh, are the strengths and weaknesses of your organization so the strengths and weaknesses are internal while opportunities are and threats are the external component it uh, basically gives a very good starting point for uh, any planning uh, effort or situation but on the other hand uh, this can be also used at the end of the analysis stage where you take into consideration the pestle factors, the meso factors such as the industry competition, then the evaluation of your internal factors like your performance, your marketing efforts, etc. etc. You analyze all these areas then finally you create a SWOT to have a very insightful summarized view of your current situation which acts as a springboard to your marketing planning or the marketing strategy process if you have time um, just check out some uh, SWOT analysis you may be able to find online or in some uh, marketing books and also if you have uh, done it in the past just review them to have a better or a clear understanding if you are unable to uh, have a clear understanding about this tool or have questions please drop me a mail or give me a call I would be happy to explain and give you some examples as well and also be very mindful that the strengths and weaknesses are internal and opportunities and threats are external and also when you do a SWOT analysis you have to remember an opportunity you cannot just put down opportunities an opportunity is not an opportunity if you do not have a corresponding strength to exploit that opportunity I hope you are clear on this there are some more tools that you should be familiar with and be able to use when you undertake the marketing planning process Porter's five force model is a very handy tool to assess the attractiveness of your current market or the intended market that you are hoping to enter into some people call this uh, a competitive analysis model but in fact it goes beyond that and it does analyze the um, 
entire market attractiveness for you to understand it from an overall point of view. What it actually does is it takes into consideration the current competition that is prevalent within that market and also it considers the substitutes and potential entrants competition that could enter this market alongside the bargaining powers of the suppliers as well as the buyers. So it gives you a good insight into the attractiveness of the market. Another tool that you can use is the of growth matrix which will give you strategic direction. It will help you to understand and decide your combination of markets and products which one or which um, combination you're going to uh, strategically focus on. The Boston matrix model is a very useful tool to assess your product portfolio. Understand in uh, relation to the market where are your products, where do they stand, are they making money for you, are they uh, making a good brand name for you? Are they a problem uh, kind of a product, etc. So with this tool, you can decide which product needs support, which products will grow, which products are just cash cows. You don't need to do much about it, but it will give you a very steady revenue. The gap analysis is useful when you do uh, a strategic plan to understand where you want to be and where you are currently. So you can um, assess this gap between these two and see whether you actually see an opportunity. Now I would ask you to uh, read up on these uh, four tools that you can use. If you have any questions or more clarifications, uh, I would be happy to answer if you drop a mail or give me a call. I'm going to leave you with this final slide about the risk and control in market entry. These are some of the market entry strategies that we in fact discussed earlier in direct exporting, direct exporting, cooperation strategies, manufacturing, uh, establishing your own um, operation in external markets. So you need to understand the control that you should have keeps on increasing when you go towards your upper right and also the risk also increases as you go towards your upper right. So the strategies that you have on the bottom left are the more or rather less riskier and where you don't need so much of control but whereas when it comes to a strategy like manufacturing having your own subsidiary acquisition assembly plant etc you need a greater control and your risk also becomes greater. Thank you very much and if you have any questions on the tools to be used or um, the market entry strategies please drop me a call or a mail, I would be happy to answer. Good luck.